So far, you have learned how to get the authors of a book and the books of an author. Now, you learn how to get all this data, but by the publisher. So you'll provide a publisher ID, then you'll get all the books that were published by this publisher and all the authors of these books. So, let us go to Visual Studio and see it in action. In here, let us go to the Solution Explorer, then in here, go to the Publisher View Model. In here, we are going to create a new view model. So let us just copy the Publisher VM, then just paste it down here, change the name to Publisher with Books and Authors. In here, we'll have the name of that publisher, and then we will have some nested data for the books and the authors of these books. So for that, let us create another view model, public class book author VM. And the book author VM will have two properties. The first property will be the string book name. And the second property will be a list of string that we're going to use for the book authors. So book authors. Now inside the publisher with books and authors VM, we are going to have a property. So prop that will be of type list and the list will be book author VM. And let us just name this property book authors. So the idea is that for an ID that you provide in your API endpoint, you'll get the publisher. And for this publisher, we'll get all the books that this publisher has published. And then for each book, we'll get the book authors. And as you know, a book can have more than one author. Now next, let us create the service method. For that, go to the Solution Explorer, then Publishers Service. Let us scroll down in here and let us type public. The return type will be the publisher with books and authors VM. And the name will be get publisher data. We'll pass as a parameter the publisher ID. Then in here we'll have the result. So var underscore publisher data is equal to context dot publishers dot where the n that goes to n dot id is equal to the publisher id and next we have dot select n that goes to new publisher with books and authors vm the first property will be the name so the name of the publisher, and that will be n.name. Then next we have the book authors, and in here we'll have the book name and all the authors of that book. So book authors is equal to n.books.select, then n that goes to new book author. We will just get the book name so book name is equal to the and dot title then down here we have the book authors and the book authors will come from the and dot book authors dot select then we are going to select the and that goes to and dot author dot full name dot to list then down here, just convert the book authors to a list, so dot to list. Then in here, dot first or default, because we are going to use the publisher ID and the publisher ID is a unique value in the publishers table. Then semicolon and return underscore publisher data. Now let us go to the controller. So solution explorer, then publishers controller. Scroll down in here. I'm going to create an HTTP get. So HTTP get. 
we are going to name this one get publisher dash books dash with dash authors this will take a parameter that will be id and public i action result get publisher data int id and then in here we're going to have var response is equal to the service so the publisher's service dot get publisher data we pass as a parameter the id then just return okay the response underscore response now let us save the changes and run the application In here, scroll down to the Publishers section. Click, try it out. I know that I have a publisher with an ID of one. So one, then execute. Now that we got the response, let us scroll down. And here you can see that for the publisher one, we have two books. The first one is the new book title, and it has two authors. And the second one is the just new book and it has two authors. If you want to test, you can just add a new publisher. For example, I'll just come in here and try it out. I'll just type in here publisher A and then execute. So if you scroll down in here, you see that the publisher was created. Then scroll down in here, cancel this one and then try it out and type in here for then execute if you scroll down you'll see that we have the publisher a but we don't have any data for the publisher a and that's right because we just created this publisher now let us go and add two authors so if you scroll up in here i'll add an author try it out let's say author a scroll down execute so the author was created. Let's also add the author B and then execute. Now let us go and add a new book. Okay, click in here, then try it out. And I'll just type the book A. It has the publisher with ID 4. The author IDs are 4 and 5. Then scroll down, execute. Let us create another book, the book B. Let us say the book B has been written only by the author with ID 5. Then the publisher ID is 4. Click execute. The book was created. Now let us scroll down. Click in here, cancel. Then scroll down, click in here, execute where we have the ID 4. And if you scroll down in here, you'll see that the, for the publisher A, we have two books, the book A and book B. The book A was written by the author A and author B, and the book B just by the author 